Welcome to card number 14 of my holiday card making series. So for today's card I am using the CC Designs Laugh Lines Christmas Car image and as always inking it up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then stamping her on to CC Designs Copic Quality 110 pound cardstock and then coloring her in with Copic markers. So for the skin I've started with E50 just to lay down a quick base and then I go in with E01 um, just to add a bit of depth to the darkest areas and as always I've kind of pictured my light source as coming from the upper right. So then I added E13 which is the darkest to the darkest areas and then blended those together with the E01 again. Just quick simple blending and then finally to blend everything together I'm using my E50 and just lightly kind of dabbing and using circular motions just to blend all of that together. And then for the blush in her cheeks, I'm using R20, um, just dabbing that on to where I want it and then blending it out just a little bit with the E50 again. So then once that's done, it's on to her hair and I'm starting with E25, again just to lay down a quick base so I'm not being um, particular about it. And then adding E27 for the darker areas and then for my darkest color I'm using E29 and just adding that in and then blending the E29 with the E27 so basically again working lightest to darkest and then working darkest to lightest. Um, quick and easy not a whole lot to it. This is a pretty small image so it's really quick and simple to color. Uh, for her coat I'm using BG10 and then blending that with BG000 and then I'm adding a little bit of that also to the little um, bulbs in her hair. And then for the green of the button and on the bulbs, and then I also decided to add that to her scarf, I'm using, I start with G16, and then I'm going in with G28 to add um, the darker areas, and then blending that back with the G16 again. And then for the pink areas, I started with R20, and then I went in with R22, and then blended it with R20 again. So once I've got all of that, um, I'm going on to the little wheels of the car and I'm using W5 and then going in with W7 to add the darker bits and then W8 as my darkest. And rather than going back and blending it with a W7, I just blended it all with W5 because these ones, one I don't use them very often and they're so dark, like they're super saturated, so it's just easier just to blend everything all at once. And then I did the exact same thing with the steering wheel. Quick and simple. And then finally, the center of the wheels, I just used the same greens, G16 and G28. And then for the end of the bulb and her little windshield, I'm just using C1, then C3, and then C5 is my darkest. And just quickly going in and blending it together. And then that's all there was to it for the coloring, because for the bulb itself, rather than color it, I paper pieced it. So I just stamped it onto some this is like a deeper pink Stampin' Up! cardstock. It was a in color, like a limited edition color, and I don't remember the name of it for the life of me, so sorry about that. But anyway, I stamped the ball onto there, cut it out, and then adhered it over the colored image um, with Tombow Mono Multi. And then rather than use like a gel pen or anything for the little highlight area, I just paper pieced that as well with a piece of white cardstock. And the excess glue I just removed with the end of my fingernail. And obviously you guys can notice I did my nails again because they were looking horrid. So anyway, back to the card. I'm using the Echo Park Holly Jolly Christmas pattern papers for this card. And then of course I had to use my CC Designs um, bulbs die. Just double check what it's called. Christmas bulb border die. So I adhere the two pattern papers together. And then the Christmas bulb border die I cut out of a dark brown cardstock. And then to adhere it to the card I just quickly dab on Tombow Mono Multi again just onto the bulbs themselves, press those down and then to get, obviously I want the lights to be colored and I just flip over and use scissors to trim off whatever's hanging off the card front. So then I went and ran the bulb die through my cuddle bug again with the darker pink cardstock and again I quickly apply some Tombow Mono Multi and then adhere all the little bulbs that I cut off um, the string basically. It's really quick and easy and it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this die. I just think it's adorable. So again, once I've got those in place, flip the card front over, trim off the bulbs that are hanging over the edge. And then now it's onto the card itself. 
Um, for the sentiment, I chose um, the Just For You sentiment from my Snowman Saying stamp set. So just ink it up with a memento tuxedo black, stamp it onto a scrap white cardstock, and then I'm using one of my Stampin' Up punches to punch it out. And again, I don't ever remember the name of this punch. I need to label that punch with a name because I just don't remember. And then for that large snowflake, that is a Provo Craft Ice Crystal die, it's called. I bought it um, a couple years ago. So before I get to the rest of the card, I wanted to add a little bit of ribbon. So I'm using some pretty in pink taffeta ribbon. Again, this is from Stampin' Up. It's another one of my favorites for ribbon. It's just really thin and easy to tie in bows and all of that. Then for the remaining embellishments, I used my Martha Stewart Snowflake Punch and punched out a couple different snowflakes. And then for the main image, I decided to use dimensionals to adhere to the card so she's popped up a little bit. So I've got that. And then for the large snowflake, again, I just used the Tombow Mono Multi and just dabbed a bit in the center and a little bit on the ends and then pressed that down so that it was glued into place. And then the sentiment, I also wanted to pop up on dimensionals. So once I've got that, get that into place. And then for the little snowflakes, um, again, I just used Tombow Mono Multi rather than using brads. Just adapt a little bit just in the center, pressed them down. That's all there was to it. Super simple. So then once I've got that, um, I want to adhere the card front to the card base itself. So as always, putting some acid-free tape over the back of the ribbon so that my ATG can glide over those smoothly. So I've got that, and then adhering it to the card base, which is, I think, retired now. It's pretty in pink from Stampin' Up. I think they have, it's pink pirouette now. It's a lighter pink. Anyway, pale pink cardstock. And then for the little Christmas bulb car, I wanted to bling it up. That's why I paper pieced it, because I wanted to add a ton of stickles. So this time I'm using um, icicle stickles on the car, which are really chunky, and just lightly dab them on. And then for the bulbs and the snowflake, I'm just using... Um, diamond stickles, which are kind of the same color, but these ones are a lot finer glitter. So again, gently dabbing it on means it dries a lot faster than just like glopping it all over the place. So then for the inside of the card, um, more pattern papers from the Holly Jolly Christmas pack. Using that pale pink as the spot where people can write their message. And then I added a strip of green pattern paper and I was going to do the bulbs again along the bottom same as the front and then decided it'd be just quicker to adhere another strip of pattern paper so I just went with that instead. So I've got that and then another sentiment from the snowman saying set this is the happy holiday sentiment. Stabbed it onto another scrap of white cardstock, punched it out with the Stampin' Up punch and then I decided to add a couple more little snowflakes just to finish off um, the inside of the card. So adhered everything in place with the Tombow Mono Multi. Just keep everything flat so that the card closes easily and then adhered that um, to the inside of the card and that's all there was to it. So as always, links will be in the description box below the video when I can provide links. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!